Hey VC, how you doing? It's King's Drummer for yet another video. Uh, it's been about two weeks or so since I've made a video. And the reason for that is, well, I haven't been vinyl digging. <laughs> I've been saving my money for other things. Other priorities have come up, unfortunately, and it's kept me from digging. Uh, but I will be doing a dig soon. I, mean, I, I, I can only hold up for so long. Um, so I'll, I'll be back to vinyl digging in, in a bit. But you know, I really wanted to make a video. So I thought it'd be cool to show my Marillion collection. Um, I think Marillion is starting to pop up on the VC a little bit more often than, than in the past. So I just thought it'd be cool to, to show my stack of Marillion records here and just show you what I got. In the background, we have Marillion playing. This is called uh, Six of One and a Half a Dozen of the Other. And it's, I don't want to say it's a greatest hits compilation, but it's a compilation of the two eras of Marillion, the Fish era and the Hogarth area which are the, the two lead singers. <laughs> the original lead singer being Fish, the current lead singer being Hogarth. So this kind of shows kind of a compilation of some of the best both of that had to offer. So it, it's a good compilation. I found this used one day um, for like a couple of bucks and I really love the song list on here. So that's what we're listening in the background. All right, let's, let's look at some Marillion vinyl here. First one up is a script for a gesture's tip. Uh, I always want to say tail, tail, but script for a gesture's tear. And it's a gold stamp promo, as you can see here. This was during the fish era of the band. Um, the ones, I do like the song Garden Party on here. And uh, Chelsea Monday was not was a good song. And the title track, of course, is really good. I am a big fan of the fish era of Marillion. It is different. It is different than what you hear here. This is a Hogarth era. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Fish's vocals and his lyrics added, you know, a different flavor to their music, which I really enjoyed a lot. So, and this, this to some fans, maybe this wasn't the strongest album, but I actually enjoyed it. And a 12-inch single from, I, I, I believe, from that album. Um, no, actually, no, this is one before it. Um, Marillion uh, Market Square Heroes 12 inch single. Uh, really, really hard to find here in my area the, this 12 inch single, so I was really surprised when I found this. Such a such a really cool 12 inch single. And on the B on the B side we have a 17 inch, I'm 17 inch, 17 minute version of the song Grendel and three boats down from the candy. So a lot of the extras on this on this collection. Really cool 12 inch single from Marillion. Put that away there. And I got two different copies of this album, which is my favorite album of all time from Marillion, which is Misplaced Childhood. Absolutely love this album. Uh, this is the uh, limited edition uh, Virgil vinyl pressing, which was only to be used for promotion only. And really good, really cool album. Uh, um, I found I found this used years like years ago, even before I joined uh, the VC. I actually got this, so I actually had this album even before I was a member of the VC. I don't think I show it that often, though. I might have shown one video a long time ago, but it's on the Capitol label, which is no big deal. <laughs> uh, but it is, like I said, it's, it was a promotion-only release through Virgin, and uh, I was really happy to score a copy of this. So let me just put it back in the Blake sleeve here. Really great album. The, the, the side one on this record, I, I think it's like the, one of the best moments of Marillion. Because <laughs> side one on this album is fantastic. And we're talking um, uh, Kaylee Lavender, The Bittersweet, Heart of Lothian. I mean, those, yeah, that is just, just a solid body music. Side two is good too, but Side one made me a fan instantly. And I also have another pressing of it. Here we go, another pressing of um, Misplaced Childhood. Uh, but this is the UK pressing, and what makes this one different is it's a gatefold. So here is the gatefold of it. The other one didn't. The other one did not have a gatefold. And it does have uh, just the custom label. You see a lot on Marillion's 12-inch singles. Uh, there we go. 
So really cool. So two different, two different uh, rare pressings of misplaced childhood. An album that's really not that hard to find lot, uh, out there in the stores. I do see, I always do see a pressing of misplaced childhood in almost every store I go. So, uh, and, it, and they're usually pretty cheaply priced at maybe four bucks, like the most I've ever seen it. So, uh, if you don't have this album, and if, if you're into prog, uh, 80s prog, you will dig this album because it's fantastic. A couple of 12 inch singles from that album. Uh, this one for the song Kaylee, and we're listening to the song Kaylee right now in the background. So, and, and these are really hard to come by, these 12 inch singles from Misplaced Childhood. And Kaylee, they have an alternative mix of Kaylee and the extended version of Kaylee on side one. Side two is the extended version, uh, a version of Lady Nina. So, really cool. And as always, you know the the black custom label from Marillion. Always, always get excited when I find 12 inch singles from from, the, from that album. They do have picture discs. A 12 inch single of uh, this and the Heart of Lothian as a as a picture disc. And I'm not really the biggest fan of picture discs. I just like to get the black vinyl. And another one from that album is Heart of Lothian uh, from the Misplaced Childhood album. Really, really great song. And on the B side, we have Chelsea Monday, live version, and uh, the uh, album version of Heart of Lothian, because side A is the extended version. So, really cool. And once again, the black label, which we're, we've already seen too many times. <laughs> Ah, this song is called Easter. It's on a, off an album. I'll show you later. It's this gorgeous song, but let's move on. <laughs> um, and up next, I have Clutching at Straws, a very, very strong album. Uh, this is from the uh, the Fish was still the lead singer of the band in this one, but this is such a great, great album. It has my own. My all-time favorite song on here is Sugar Mice, because that's such a great song, beautiful song. Every time they... I did see Marillion last year when they came to San Francisco. The very very limited uh, U.S. dates they did, I managed to see the very last show of the, uh, of the U.S. leg of their tour. And it was such an emotional, emotional show, and when they played this song, it almost seemed like there was not a dry eye in the, in the house, and everybody sang the whole song to uh, back to the singer. I mean, he let the, the crowd take a verse, and it was the, at one point the crowd was louder than the singer, and he has a PA, we don't. <laughs> so it was great. Uh, also on here, you know, hotel hobbies and warm wet circles, white Russian, some great songs on here. Incommunicado. It's such a great album. Uh, I should spin this more often than I do, but. You'll hear me say that a lot, but man, it's such a wonderful, wonderful album to listen to. And I always like the label on this album with the with the cocktail there. <laughs> really cool. So, clutching at straws. Um, I do have the concert video uh, that came with this. Uh, it was it was the band live at the Lowerly Festival or. That's how you say it, or Laura Lee, or something like that. I do believe that's in Germany. I, I think I'm guessing. Uh, but I, I did have them singing song, and that video has them singing songs off this album, as well as the whole the side one of uh, Misplaced Childhood and some other Marillion classics at the time. I think the time they recorded was 1986 or 1987. Just a great concert. Just a great concert. And I'm lucky to have a copy of that on DVD. And uh, it goes really good with this album, so there we go. This was a gift to me from Dr. Dead Wax. Uh, he, he had bought this for me. I think I won one of his contests, and this is what he gave me as a prize. Uh, that and other, some other albums. Marillion Brief Encounter, which is just a collection of live recordings. Really cool. It's on the Capitol label. <clears throat> really, really good. Really good collection of songs. I think Kaylee's on this one as well, so. Very, very nice. This one I really love. Uh, another live recording from Marillion, The Thieving Magpie, which it's a double album and it, it covers quite a few tours uh, from, the, from the band. It's, it is just a 
just a great, great, great live recording. Something really wonderful to have when you're a Merlion fan. And I was, this is a used copy that I got pretty cheap. <laughs> I was surprised how cheap I got this. And uh, just to show you, you know, it, it covers, of course, the uh, Collection of Straws era and Fugazi, which an album I thought I had. I've been looking all over for it. I could have sworn I bought it, but I can't find it. <laughs> so, I'm, so I guess I'm missing that one. I could have sworn I had it, but oh well. And of course, I'll show you the other insert. Um, well, there's Clutching at Straws, and then of course it also covers the misplaced childhood era. So, really, really cool stuff. Love this album. It's a brilliant live recording. Really captures the energy and the spirit of the band during that time. Just, just fantastic. And you know, like I said, the fish area, the fish era of the band. So much magic in the music, so much emotion. I mean, top notch. Really love this. Okay, now we get into the Hogarth era, and and the album I have is Season's End. I just scored this not that long ago, a few weeks ago. I was so happy to find it. This is such a great album. Really love this. It does feature the song Easter, which is what we're listening to here. Easter has always been one of my favorite tunes, and uh, it sounds so good on vinyl. <laughs> it sounds so good on vinyl. Also on this album is the song The Uninvited Guest, which is absolutely brilliant and and there's another song in here which is called uh, hooks and you which is a really good high energy kind of rock song really good album to listen to really dig this one uh, and i also have i don't think i've ever shown this on a video before so this will be the first time anyone's ever seen it i have the 12 inch single for the song easter and it just again it's just great to have these really rare 12 inch singles. I love collecting them. I mean, it's a gatefold 12 inch single with some pictures of the band on it. And so of course we have Easter, which we just finished listening to. Live version of The Uninvited Guest. A live version of Wet Warm Circle, uh, Warm Wet Circles. And live version of That Time of the Night. So really, really good collection here. This was such a big score for me. And uh, Easter's, Clearly one of my favorite Marillion songs. Really, really, really a beautiful song. <clears throat> this one I just scored not too long ago, but I really love it. And it's from the Hogarth era, of course. Uh, Marillion's Brave. Of the Hogarth era, this has to be my favorite album. I really love this album. The songwriting and the emotion on it is, is incredible. <laughs> I just absolutely love the music to death on this album. I mean, it's one of the, the only complaint is it's hard to hear this album in its entirety because afterwards you kind of feel like you need a break because <laughs> it just drains you. But that's but that's not you no know, spite on the music. The music on here is just fabulous and uh, really dig this album in a major major way. Um, Runaway has to be my favorite song on here because there's so so emotion, so much emotion on it. It's so creepy too. <laughs> But a full orchestration on it too. It's a really impressive song. I really love it, sung to death. And also the whole body music that goes under the name uh, "Goodbye to Goodbye to All That," which is a really a long piece of music with all these different parts. Just fantastic. One of my, like I said, my pretty much my favorite uh, album from the uh, Hogarth era. It's awesome. And another great album from the Hogarth era, which is Marbles. Um, the song Neverland, which closes the album, always gives me chills. <laughs> Whether you hear the studio version of it or the live recording of it, it's, God, it just gives me the chills. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous freaking song, as well as You're Gone, Fantastic Place. Um, Don't Hurt Yourself, The Invisible Man. This is just a wonderful, a wonderful LP. It's a two record set. I always like the artwork on here, as you can see. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. And then, like I said, the music on here is fantastic. And it's really changing with the times, you know. Um, 
they no longer sound like a band out of the 80s. Uh, they really did step up and modernize their sound between this album and Brave uh, to make more modern sounding records. So they, they felt they had to change with the times and, uh, and they did it in a really good way. I mean, it, it, it's not like, you know, like when some bands do it, people say, ah, it doesn't sound as good as what they used to. Uh, maybe some fans actually do say that, but because um, some really good fans are divided, like Genesis fans, due to who's the lead singer. Uh, but really, I mean, they at this point they um, they gave their sound a more they gave their sound more of a modern tone to it, and that's what I really love about this album. It's, it's still very much Marillion, but but a modern take. And I, that's what I love about this album. Another couple of 12-inch singles. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not really into uh, picture discs, but I, I really did want this one. Uh, 12 inch single from the song No One Can. It's from the, it's from the album, I believe it was called um, Holidays in Eden, I believe. But uh, that's the album, yeah, Holidays in Eden. An album I'm yet to score, but I got two 12 inch singles from it, and this is one of them uh, from the song No One Can. And on side two, we have, you know, uh, the song Cover My Eyes and Sympathy, so really cool collection. And it actually sounds pretty good for for being a 12-inch single picture disc, not bad. And another 12-inch single for the song Dry Land from the same album. And on the B side we have acoustic versions of uh, Waiting to Happen, Easter, and Sugar Mice, but done acoustically. Really, really nice. This is a gatefold too. I've shown this in a video before, but long, long ago. And I'll show you, well, it's a tri gateful, I guess you could say, and the record is in the middle. I'll try to hold it for the record doesn't pop out. And the record's on clear vinyl, if you can see there. I don't want to really take the record out because it's such a pain in the ass putting it back in. But it's a, it's a really cool limited edition 12 inch single. Well, actually, it's a 10 inch record, actually, but on clear vinyl. So, really cool. So really glad I scored that. And I saved the coolest one for last. Let me just get this back in the sleeve here. I saved the coolest one for last. This is my favorite. This is Marillion Best Live. Um, I, I think it covers something like two, from 2003 to 2000, 2010 as far as live recordings. I forgot the years actually. <laughs> Uh, but it, it, it is a one, I don't got to be records on here, one, two, three, four, four record set, my memory, four record set, and uh, the song list on here is amazing, absolutely amazing, it came with this little sleeve of pictures here, just an amazing, amazing collection of live music, and Marillion sounds they sound great on on uh, on record, but you got to experience it live to get the full emotion of the songs and the and the full spirit of the music. But especially when you're sharing it with hardcore Marillion fans, it's an amazing night of live music. And you know, it's, and then some nice um, pictures on these sleeves for the four, for the four records. And it does cover the Hogarth era and a few of the Fish era songs as well. It does it really well. I like how it's done. They really, I really love the packaging and how they put this album set together. And there's a live version of Neverland on here that is just breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. I really dig the live version of Neverland on here as well as everything on here. <laughs> uh, you'd have to look at the track listing online, but it's Merlin Best Live. It's just an amazing, amazing, uh, uh, it's just amazing live recordings, and each album sounds fantastic. I mean, for, for being a live recording, the sound quality on here is just unbelievable. It's one of the best live recording albums I have. Just absolutely, absolutely kick ass. Well, that's going to do it, folks. That's all I have on vinyl as far as Marillion. I'm still on the hunt for others. I want Holidays in Eden. And apparently I gotta get Fugazi because I thought I had this. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for me. That's my Marillion collection. Hope you guys liked what you saw. Leave me some comments and uh, we'll talk. Have a good weekend, everybody.